Churches are supposed to be places of peace, where people go to pray and find joy in their lives. But not every church is inhabited by the living. Here are 10 creepy haunted churches you shouldn't visit. Number 10 is the Temple of Amida. Located on Mount Miyazan in Japan, the Amidaji Temple was built to appease spirits of those that were killed during a war that saw the end of the Haiki clan over 700 years ago. The most famous legend to come out of the temple was that of Hayosh, a penniless blind man with a gift for playing music who used to live there. On multiple nights, he was led away by a samurai to the home of a lord. However, Hayosh was not going to a house at all, but instead was actually playing music in front of the Haiki Emperor's grave. Painting protective symbols all over the blind man, the temple's priest forgot to mark his ears, so when the samurai returned, they were the only parts of Hayosh he could see. Hearing of this, Hayosh panicked, tore them off, and never returned. To this very day, Hayosh the earless, wondrous music can be still heard in the graveyard around the temple late at night. Number 9 is Notre Dame. Located in Paris, France, the Notre Dame Cathedral, officially completed in 1345, stands as possibly the finest example of French Gothic architecture. One of the legends surrounding the structure's completion says that in the 13th century, a blacksmith named Biscornet was given the task of decorating the cathedral's side doors. Overwhelmed with the thought of working on such a building, he made a deal with the devil, who completed the beautiful doors for him. But on the day that the doors were to be opened, they wouldn't budge until holy water was sprinkled on them. Another tale tells the story of a mysterious woman known only as MJ, who in October of 1882 jumped from one of the towers and died upon impact. It's said that to this day, upon walking through those doors, you can feel an eerie presence. And upon looking up at the gargoyles on the cathedral itself, MJ can still be seen walking among them. Number 8 is St. Andrews on the Red. Officially opened in 1849, St. Andrews on the Red is a church in Selkirk, Manitoba, Canada, named primarily due to the proximity to the Red River, and also due to the pair of glowing red eyes that many people have seen while inside. Considered one of Canada's most haunted places, St. Andrews is home to multiple ghosts, including a man in black, as well as a woman in white who appear and disappear seemingly at random while walking about the graveyard outside. The gates of that cemetery have been seen and heard rattling strongly, even when there's no breeze, as well as a ghost car has been seen traveling around the church's parking area. Many who have witnessed the supernatural entities on the church's grounds reported having awful nightmares for several nights afterwards, most of which came with visions of the rattling gate. Number 7 is Egg Hill Church. Built in 1860, Egg Hill Church sits, all but abandoned, in Center County, Pennsylvania. Legend has it that a minister went mad and chained the front doors of the building shut with his entire congregation inside. He then proceeded to give communion, however, the wine was laced with poison. Everyone in that mass was killed, including the minister himself. Today, the church is said to be haunted, with some seeing the ghost of the priest himself, while others claim that they've seen some of the murdered patrons. Some claim that the urban legend is simply that, an urban legend. However, others say that the story only came after terrifying things began happening in and around Egg Hill. These include sightings of the ghostly minister, dark marks that appear and disappear on the church's walls, and the church bells ringing on their own. Number six is St. Mikan's Church. 
Built in 1095 as a Catholic church for the remaining Vikings in the area, the St. Michael's Church in Dublin, Ireland converted to being a Protestant church in 1686. But even with the change and rebuilding of much of it, the building never removed the vault in the basement. Several coffins still containing bodies have been found in the rooms under the chapel, many of which have never been identified. Incredibly, due to the limestone content in the soil, as well as the dry conditions inside the crypt, these bodies have mummified, becoming almost perfectly preserved. Among the bodies are those of powerful families, many of whom are apparently still trying to influence the living today. Visitors often report hearing the mummies whisper, often many voices at once, and some have even felt unseen hands grab them or even push them. Not exactly a place you want to go worship at. Number five is Basilica of Our Lady of Good Health. Located in Velankani, India, the Basilica of Our Lady of Good Health has been the site of numerous supernatural occurrences. Built in the early 1900s, the location of the church was selected due to sightings of a ghostly woman and her infant son, who many claim to be the Mother Mary and Jesus Christ himself. Two of the first sightings were by young boys, the second of which was crippled until the spirits appeared to him. There are even tales of the ghostly pair saving European sailors from a storm, which suddenly ended when they appeared on the deck of a Portuguese ship. As of today, these unknown ghostly figures are often seen wandering the grounds. In addition, other unidentified ghosts have been sighted at the Basilica, including a number of traders from international destinations who were worshippers at the church. No one at the church or anyone who visits it knows what these ghosts want or who they truly are, but they remain cautious. Number four is St. Louis Cathedral. Initially built in 1718, the Cathedral Basilica of St. Louis, King of France, better known locally as St. Louis Cathedral, is located in the French Quarter of New Orleans, Louisiana. It holds the title as the oldest cathedral in the United States. The building that stands today is the fourth iteration of the church after a hurricane and a fire took down the first two, and a public outcry to expand took most of the third. However, it's rumored that when the cathedral was expanded, it covered a small cemetery on the church grounds, and those interred there took offense. Notable ghosts include Pere Antoine, a Spanish Capuchin friar who's been spotted roaming the grounds or standing by the altar. Another is Pere Dagobert, a monk who walks the halls in sandals at night, chanting as he shuffles along. Number three is St. Thomas Church. Located in a small village called Mulgoa in New South Wales, Australia, St. Thomas Church was constructed in 1838 out of sandstone and cedar. With a number of updates over the years, the church still stands today, though for some it may not have the draw that it used to. It's rumored that two twin brothers were playing with fire on the church grounds when it suddenly got out of control and wound up killing them both. People have reported spotting or hearing both of the brothers, who were perceived as being angry with the visitors, especially if they happened to light a match or lighter. Additionally, people have reported strange activity while driving towards or around the church at night. It's said that a warning comes first when the headlights on your vehicle stop working, but soon after your car will stall, stranding you there with the angry ghost twins. Number two is Old Rock Church. Located 6.4 kilometers east of Cranfills Gap in Bosque County, Texas, St. Olaf's Kirk, more commonly known as the Old Rock, was built between 1884 and 1886. The building was closed in 1917 when another Lutheran church was built nearby. 
However, that doesn't mean that the pews are empty. According to multiple witness reports, a large group of the dead still regularly attend, most often on Sundays. Many claim to have seen strange lights swirling about both inside the chapel and in the cemetery beside it. Strange voices can be heard reciting passages from both the Bible and hymn books, as well as some translucent figures walking among the seats. But none of that holds a candle to the choir. A few visitors have claimed that they heard the sound of a ghostly choir singing hymns coming from inside the church at night. And number one is St. Nicholas Church. Located in Pluckley, England, allegedly the most haunted church in the country, St. Nicholas Church certainly adds its fair share of ghost stories to the nation. A number of paranormal experts have investigated this building, specifically looking for two ghostly women who haunt it. Outside, walking the grounds, you may spot the Red Lady, a middle-aged woman in red clothing that is buried in a lead box somewhere on the premises. She roams the area surrounding the church, crying as she searches in vain for her baby, who, as the story goes, was stillborn prior to her death. Inside the church is the White Lady, a woman who's been seen both as a ghostly woman in flowing white garments and as a disfigured result of a house fire that she apparently lost her life to in 1952. Beware if you visit this area, because neither seem to enjoy visitors. So, that was 10 creepy haunted churches you shouldn't visit. But if you enjoyed this, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications by clicking the little bell beside the subscribe button so that you never miss a thing because I release new videos all the time. Thank you for watching and sweet dreams.